Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying ASP.NET VBPI. So this video is all about action methods written type. In last video, we just saw the introduction of it. This video will cover all these written types along with practical. So let us start. So let me give you a quick overview of this. Our action method can return nothing. In that case, it can specify the return type as void. It can return a primitive type of data or complex type of data. Primitive means any inbuilt data type and complex means you can return an object or collection of object. Then two more return types are there that is HTTP response message and I HTTP action result. So these two return types allows us to return a data along with HTTP status code. I HTTP action result was introduced in VBPI2 and it is a more easy way to return a data along with a status code. Okay, so let us see this practically. So I am switching to Visual Studio. So we already have an application, VBPI application named as VBPI B6. In last video, we added one method to our controller. So our controller name is product controller. Okay. This method is custom action method since it do not starts with any uh, HTTP verb like get, greet or post greet. But we marked it as a get method by putting this attribute HTTP get. So before uh, executing this, let me tell you one more thing. Here, VBPI also follows the concept of routing. And there is one default root present in our application. So you can find that default root in app underscore start folder and in VBPI config.cs file. So let us open it. So here you can see one default root. And how that root template is, a root pattern is, you have to specify the API word, then slash, and then there are two placeholders. Okay, whatever enclosed in curly braces, right? This one, controller and ID, these are what? Placeholder and it can take any value. So here, our controller name is what? Product. Okay, then after, so does my method accepting any argument? No. So in that case, we are not going to specify this last value because here, if you observe, it is already marked as what optional means it is not compulsory so if you are going to call your method of product controller how you will call api slash product okay now while execution we are not going to specify the action method name if you observe the root pattern again you will find that there is no placeholder for action method you just have a placeholder for controller and for method parameters, action method parameter. But there is no placeholder for action method. Okay. So how it will be executed? See, if you remember, I already told you that HTTP verb maps the action method. Means if my request is get request, then greet method will execute. If my request is post request, then whatever the post method I have created, it will get executed. So remember this thing. Okay. So let me show you the execution of this. So here I am executing the application. Here as a client, I am going to use a web browser and my web browser is Mozilla Firefox. And as I told you, here I have to specify api word because this is our root pattern then i have to specify the controller name my controller name is product and hit a enter key okay our action method get executed now whatever request you made through this address bar is a get request what is it it is a get request that's why a get method execute and then after we got the output that is hello world. Now the output is somehow weird, right? It is not a plain text. It is not returning any plain text, but it is in the XML form. Now why we receive the output or response in XML form? Because our client, which is browser or Mozilla Firefox browser, 
requesting the output in the form of XML. That's why server returns the output or response in the XML form. Okay, how we can change it and how we can alter this, all these things we are going to study in the upcoming video. So I hope these basic things are clear. Okay, now let me show you one more thing. Here I am opening a developer tool. So I hope you know how to open the developer tool. What you have to do, just right click over here and say inspect. Okay, and when you say inspect, this developer tool get open. Here, you have to open this tab, network tab. Okay. Again, I am refreshing my request or you can say again, I am requesting to the web API. So, I will just hit this refresh button. And here, you can see that this is our request, right? Request to the product controller. And what is our method type or request type? It is get, get request. Okay. And the response we got here in the XML form. And the status code is 200, which is nothing but OK. If I over a mouse here, so you can see that it shows you 200 OK. So by default, it returns a status code 200. OK. Mm -hmm. Now, let us see another types or another type of data action method can return. So I am switching to Visual Studio again. Let me stop the application. Now here, what will I do? I will create one method, say public, I am going to return a string array and say get all. So this is a complex type of data, right? So let me delete this. We are not going to use this method now. So this is my one of the get method. So let me create one array here, string, say, products is equal to, let me create one hard coded array, right, say TV, then washing machine, fridge, microwave. Okay, so we have four products and now we are going to return. So say return products. Okay, so here this is my get request. I do not have to use HTTP verb here because it is following the convention, right? It is starting with get verb. So no necessity to specify the HTTP verb. So let us run it again. Again, this method is not accepting any parameter. So how we have to call this method? API slash product. That's it. So say slash API slash product. See, this is what array of string. And you got this many object and again your output is in the XML form again you can observe the request here to observe the request type and status code I have to refresh this so let me refresh see so 200 ok and this is our controller name now let us return any specific product means any single product okay so let me stop the application and here, I will create one more get method, but it will return single product only. So return type will be string. And let us call our method as great get product. And it will accept the parameter, which is of type integer. And name is id. So here specifically or purposely, I am using the parameter name as id because this parameter is already defined here as a placeholder. If we use other than this parameter, then we have to add a one more root here, but we will see those details in routing section. So time being, we are going to create a parameter which name is id. So here, user will request for the specific product and for that, user has to mention the id number.
and that specific product we are going to return from our array. So let me copy this array and here we know that our array size is what 4. So if somebody enters the value other than the range in that case we want to show the error message. Okay. So here I say if i is greater than sorry if id is greater than or equal to 0 and id is less than or equal to 3. Okay. So we have a four products. This is at 0th position. This is at 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Then only we are going to return. So return products of id. And if somebody enters the value of id other than this range means other than 0 to 3 in that case we will show the error message so here i will say return not found ok now we have two get request the first get request is not accepting any parameter so it will return all the products and second one is also a get request but it is accepting the parameter and based on that this two get request will be differentiated so let us try this so again here i have to specify api slash product and then after i have to specify the id so at first position there is what washing machine so let me open the developer tool so at the same time we can observe the status code so let me try for two see we have a fridge at that location and our status code is what 200 which is okay now let me try some id which is not present say 20 see what it shows the output is not found but status is what okay status is what okay and this conflicts with each other right with output and status code it is conflicting so instead of returning 200 we should return something 404 not found okay and with primitive and complex type we can't do this in that case we have to use http response message or i http action result so let us see this practically so first of all here i am going to use http response message okay my return type will be what http response message and here i will say request dot create response and first of all, you have to specify the HTTP status code, which is available in the enum format. I want to return OK. And then after, you have to specify your data. So my data is what? Products. OK. Now here, in the same way, what will I do? I have to return request dot create response http status code ok and products of id let me keep the return type as http response message and if i do not get anything in that case i will say request dot create error response then specify the http status code as not found and then you have to specify the error message also say invalid id now let us run this so here i let me open the developer tool first okay now let us request our methods so slash api slash product so this will give you a list of all the products status code is okay 200 okay now let me say slash one so still response code or status code is 200 and we got our output now let me put any invalid id 
So say 10. See what happened here? My status code is 404 and I got this error message also. It is in some different format in error tag. Okay. So this way is generally recommended to return a action method data. So it will match with our status code also. Now, as I told you, we have one more type that is ihttp action result okay and it is new in web api 2 so what you can do it is quite easy to use ihttp action result and here what you have to say you have to just say return sorry we already wrote return we have to give call to this okay method and then you have to specify the data which is products array that's it similarly here also what you will say return okay and what is your data products of id that's it here like okay we have one method not found then here I have to specify my return type as ihttp action result. Okay. Now here you can basically ihttp action result is an interface. You can return any object that has implemented this ihttp action result interface. But here we are using the methods. Okay, not found are the methods. And these methods are defined in your API controller base class. So these methods will take care of this. This method will properly create an object and then it will return the response along with HTTP status code. So let us try this also. So again, I am executing it. So let me give call to API slash product method first. So it is returning all the values. So let us open the developer tool. Now I will request for particular product, say slash two. So I got the response that is fridge and status code is 200. Let me try something out of range, say 20. See, now my status code is 404 and I didn't receive anything. Okay. So we are going to follow this approach of returning a data of i http action result type okay so let me tell you few more things related to i http action result so let us stop our application and switch to presentation so there are ready-made methods available in our api controller base class and that returns the object that implements the i http action result means for example if you say ok method so what this ok method does ok method will create an ok result with status code 200 similarly not found will create a result of not found result and it will define the status code as 404 one more method is that bad request it will create a ob create a object of bad request result with status code 400 internal server error method is there which will create an object of type internal server error result and return with status code 500 so as we move ahead definitely we are going to use these methods and status code so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any concern you can definitely write to the comment section thank you for watching